Hi, this is Dorothy from Dot Scrapbooking, and I am going to do two layouts, uh, single page layouts, for the Creative uh, Scrapbooker magazine. This is their sketchy challenge, and I really enjoy doing this. I haven't done it for a couple of months. Um, and what I'm doing, this my uh, thing is uh, doing layouts for my husband for his building his plane. Now, he hasn't been able to get out into the garage um, much due to a hurt foot, but I figured I would still go on and make his his layouts because there'll be plenty of pictures to come when he's able to get out there. So I am using the same kind of color uh, palette that I've used for the other layouts. I just kind of wanted this to be, although not you know looking the same for each page, I wanted it to be kind of flowing from one to the other. And besides, it goes with the colors of the plane and the guys in the garage. And so it just it just works, works out. And so I'm using um, blues and tans. And I'm taking the um, texture paper from one end of the 12 inches to the other. And I'm using a journey. Uh, the journey of a thousand miles starts with one step, which I thought went well with building a plane. It's nothing instantaneous about it. it. It's just a little bit at a time building on itself to finally get to the end. So that just kind of meshed with, with that. And I'm using uh, placeholders for three by four pictures to go here instead of um, four by six. So a lot, of, a lot of the stuff for building the plane that's of interest is close-ups. Uh, so you can see the detail of putting the plane together. So that's why I'm using the three by fours. So they wanted some detail diagonally to each other. And so I, <laughs> One of my favorite shapes in Cricut are the clouds. I just love the clouds. Um, no, no good reason. And I, I cut them out uh, from Cricut Design Space. This is from close to my heart, uh, Artiste, I believe. Um, we have amazing collections of Cricut cuts on our... Uh, we used to sell the cartridges... But now it all goes directly into design space. So just so simple to use. Um, anyway, so I'm making these clouds. I cut them out in, uh, on the light side of linen and uh, did some distress uh, in our color called Pebble. And I used um, our gold glitter paper to make uh, the sun. And then I'm putting some clouds on top of the sun. So same kind of thing, the same uh, linen clouds with the uh, pebble distress ink on the edges. So it just adds, you know, some depth to the clouds. It kind of, you know, I can pretend they look round to me. Um, I have an active imagination. So I'm just kind of piling my clouds on top of each other with three-dimensional dots. And uh, I've used this um, thin cut before with the biplane. He's not building a biplane, but I like the way it looks. And uh, the one plane that he has is a blue and white plane. So that just the biplane in blue and white, it's actually sapphire. Um, and that's the background color of the paper is sapphire. And then the outer edge is the light side of, of almond. So I'm popping up the biplane also. And um, here we go, our little plane flying through the clouds. So what I didn't have was a place for journaling. So I'm going to make a little journaling strip. And I'll use a cloud at the top of the journaling strip. So I'm going to make a, a, just a little narrow one because, I mean, it's not like a whole lot.
has to be said. You know, they can he can put in you know what part of the plane he's working on, and um, you know what he and Dick, his friend Dick, who are you know is helping him build the plane. But the guys haven't been able to get together um, since the whole blooming COVID thing started. So it's really frustrating between his foot and COVID. It's really kind of. Oh, cut into the fun times, right? And I'm sure it's done the same for for uh, you. But um, anyway, I cut some strips, and I'm going to put the lighter color on top of the darker color. That's the flip, flip side of that graph-looking paper, is the dark brown. And uh, I'm going to fit it in there, but I've got to trim a little bit of the dark color off of it. So there we go. That's that's the little journaling thing. Peace. So there's my there's my first layout. I you know, I have to tell you I have fun, really. I have a lot of fun doing doing these layouts because I know, I always know generally the paper I'm going to use. I've got scraps of the paper um, that I kind of purchased uh, what I could of the, it, this is a discontinued paper um, that came back as a, as kind of a, a uh, what do they call it? Bring back my pack. Um, but I don't think it's any longer available. So I bought a bunch of it so that I could use it to, um, and that's, see that corrugated Paper is one of the background and textures from it. Um, so this time I'm going to flip and put the almond on the inside with the sapphire on the outside. And uh, I'm using, I like the corrugated metal because so many, you know, big buildings, big work buildings are made out of the corrugated metal. I mean, clearly our garage isn't. But, um, you know, it just, it just kind of screams mail and, and work, workspace. And so, of course, I've got some more clouds. Because when I cut my clouds with Cr Cricut, I cut two whole pages of clouds. So I'd have plenty in all different sizes. So if you don't use Cricut Design Space, um, you can download it for free. If you, ha you have to have a Cricut um, Explore Air or Air 2. Anyway, it's got to be able to, um, you have to Bluetooth to your, or wire it to your computer. So, you know, it just makes um, using the whole Cricut so much easier to have it in design space. And it's really um, not completely intuitive, but, but once you kind of get used to it, it's like, oh yeah, that just makes so much sense. So um, you just have to find the uh, make it and um, the make it button and finish button and you've got it. So I'm using the opposite side of that light color graph, see that graph type paper, the squared paper, um, to make it stand, the brown stand out against the, it's more like an espresso color, it's really a deep brown. Um, against the corrugated paper. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and distress my one little cloud that I'm going to put below the three. I think these are three by threes, probably because I miscut stuff. But that's okay. Three by three is all okay too. So I think I'm going to put that there, but no, I have to wait. What can you say? One, one step ahead of myself. Yeah, see, now, now set it aside, Dorothy. No, 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 there you go. Okay, so this is going to be part of the design is having some kind of a design on the um, left side of that upper deck and the lower right side of the lower deck. And so, of course, what am I gonna use? A cloud. 
And these can actually be used for journaling. You know, I, we can easily put the date on them and kind of say what part they were working on there. So the clouds can totally be used for journaling. And then I had some cute little uh, signs to um, with thin cuts that I went ahead and stamped and um, put them out there in sapphire. So I'm going to extend this picture down with a little bit of the espresso paper and put a cloud on top of it. So I'm using pebble to distress. And it looks like it would be a super light color, but you know, on my fingers, it's almost black. So it's pretty, it's a pretty dark gray, but it's, you know, it works out real good against the uh, light linen. And those are some more clouds that came with the uh, stamp set that I had that was the thin cut and stamp set. And I mean, if you're going to purchase things now, I would suggest getting the stamps. You know, if, if they have a stamp that you like that has the thin cuts, then do yourself a favor and get the thin cuts too. Because, um, you know, like for anything for Jim or Philip then I'm going to be cutting cutting them out more than one time. And uh, you just save yourself a whole lot of time and aggravation with not having to hand cut everything. And so the title was to go there in bold. And so I put the boys at play and uh, hanging out. And, um, you know, I decided it needed a little bit more stuff. So... I had some of the, uh, oh, what do you call them, um, compliments that came with this paper, which is, I'm totally blanking on the name of this paper. I can't believe it. Hmm. I don't think it's not coming to me. Anyway, they had all these uh, cardboard type little figures, and I decided to Kind of put those around like you would sparkles on a on a regular paper. So I'm not going to put sparkles on Jim's stuff. So these are perfect little, you know, they don't, they're just little things, you know, little stars, little pinwheel um, arrows, you know, so you're not, you're just adding a little interest and a little bit of color to the, uh, layout. So that was kind of fun because they actually they actually worked out just fine. To have just a little bit of something. Little something something there. But I'm thinking that Yeah, I like that. That's not too, that kind of coordinates with the, uh, except I changed my mind and put that little kind of arrowhead type thing. Um, I'm thinking that the almond just looks a little bit too plain. And so I decide to take it off the background. So there's the layout. And I'm pleased with the layout. I'm, I'm pleased with it. What I don't like is the fact that it looks kind of boring. So I'm going to <laughs> take it off of the background. And fortunately, it hadn't been there long enough to get permanent. So here I come with the pebble. And I'm just going to distress. I've kind of stopped distressing a lot of stuff, except for my clouds. But adding a little distress, this the uh, almond paper just looked too neat for a garage type thing. So adding some distress is um, just exactly what, what it needed. It needed a little, a little dirt smudging to go, to go around the uh, page. So I think that, and I'm not being polite either, I'm just being kind of sloppy with it. And I like the way that looks better. except it's not very sticky now, so I'm going to add some more Tombow to it. Okay, here we go. So 
sell. I hope you like it. It'll be good for Jim's album. My His album is really uh, getting bigger. So there's the two layouts together. <clears throat> so like I said, they're not the same looking, but they flow from one one to the other. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I did get a little glitz in there with the sun. So woohoo. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye now.